Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Sign Cost Theta. Uh, this is Ankur, and today we are going to be learning how to download Eclipse uh, IDE for Mac OS X. So just go to Google and uh, type in download Eclipse for Mac. Uh, and then it should be the first one. And for some reason, I don't like to use the installer. It's up to you if you want to use the installer, which is which might be easier, but uh, I don't like to do that. Uh, I uh, so there are two types of Eclipse IDE for Java. Uh, the Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers, which is an advanced uh, Java-based uh, IDE, uh, which comes with a lot of uh, tools that requires for enterprise application development and Eclipse ID for Java de uh, developers is not as fancy as uh, uh, EE so it's up to you whichever one you like uh, if you're in college and learning just Java programming uh, you don't need Eclipse ID for Java EE developers all you need is Eclipse ID for Java developers and it should do work for you but for this tutorial, I'm going to be downloading e, uh, Java EE Developers uh, Eclipse IDE. So click on the 64-bit, and uh, it should take you to another uh, page, which, uh, which are the partner uh, websites where you can download the Eclipse from. Uh, I'm going to choose Spring by Pivotal, uh, and select uh, Eclipse ID for Java EE Developers again and tar.gz which should now down start downloading Eclipse uh, uh, Mars alright we'll come back once the download is finished alright so the Eclipse uh, has been downloaded to the system uh, you can show do show in finder from here or you can also select uh, downloads and then show in finder from here uh, I don't like to keep anything in the downloads folder, so I will just copy uh, this and put it into my desired folder, which is I've already created an Eclipse folder, uh, and I'm going to paste it over here. Once um, it is pasted, uh, you can just double click on this icon, and it would expand uh, Eclipse uh, IDE. It shouldn't take too long. Uh, usually, it's done pretty quick. All right. So after it uh, gets done with expanding, this uh, icon with Eclipse would you know pop up right next to in the same folder. So this is basically our starting point for our Eclipse uh, IDE. So you double click on it, and it would start. And it, this is a security warning. Uh, you sure you want to open this file downloaded from internet? Yes, open it, please. So what Eclipse needs is a workspace in order for you to write any kind of programs and save it onto hard drive. Uh, Eclipse requires a workspace location where you you can make any changes to the Java files, and it would store in, or, or you know if you create any project that you create are going to be stored in that workspace also uh, what it stores is you know your personal settings that you set in Eclipse IDE so we'll, we'll, we'll come to know these features uh, into in future tutorials anyways uh, so I'm going to do browse and I like to put my workspace into the same folder where I have my Eclipse IDE and I give it a name workspace and open and click OK and now the clips would load depending on your uh, uh, computer uh, processing speed uh, it would take time okay uh, this is what Eclipse ID looks like. Uh, uh, Alright, so we're done with the installing Eclipse ID and we will be writing uh, Java programs basically uh, using this IDE 
in future tutorials. Uh, if you have any questions and comments, please uh, post below this video. And don't forget to subscribe to Sign Cost Theta. Uh, and please uh, follow my channel for future tutorials. Uh, all right, that's it for this video. Uh, we'll see you in future with more amazing videos.